Hello, my name is Ron Martin. I'm the director of the Panasonic Hollywood Lab, uh, which is located in Hollywood, California. The Hollywood Lab is a division of the research and development branch of Panasonic, and our goal is to take technology to the creative community that's located in Hollywood with the Hollywood studios, the production environment, cinematographers, directors, and anything that touches digital imagery, we want to interface with the creative side of the industry there in the Hollywood Lab. Uh, we've been there since the early 90s, uh, formally started in 2001. And again, our mission is to bring technology and creativity together in everything that we do, whether it's capture, processing, delivery, or display of, of images, the Hollywood Lab is there to develop these technologies to, to the most mature point. Uh, today we're here with uh, Mike Soa, who is a colorist in the Hollywood community. Uh, Mike is a very talented uh, uh, artist with the field of color and color management. Uh, as a colorist, he works with the cinematographers and directors in filmmaking. And Mike, if you would, uh, tell us a little bit about your background and uh, what the color correction process is all about. Thanks. Well, I am Mike Soa. I'm a digital intermediate colorist, and uh, I work for Technicolor. Uh, let's see. To the beginning, what a colorist actually does is I sit with the director and the cinematographer, and we create looks and then establish that look throughout the entire movie. What that starts with is a raw file, a raw digital photograph file. And I just, uh, just create looks. I, just, like, uh, just like you would do at home on software that color corrects your vacation photos. I do the same thing, only a much more sophisticated level on a piece of equipment specifically designed for this. Uh, and I just go through shot by shot, sometimes frame by frame, and I create a look and then recreate that look for the entire scene or the entire movie. And I just manage areas of the frame that might distract away from the action, distract away from the story. So it's a form of visual storytelling that I'm trying to create, but I do it with the, the cinematographer and the director's guidance. One of the things that Panasonic has always been committed to is this idea of accuracy in, in imaging, uh, maintaining what we call the creative vision of the cinematographer or director. Uh, here at IFA this year, we're previewing our latest OLED television. Uh, this is a television that we've worked with collaboratively with the creative community to, crea uh, to, to manufacture. And what Mike has done is brought his creative uh, talent and vision into this product uh, very directly working with us. Uh, Mike, tell us what you see in a, in a television like this and why the accuracy is so important. So when I do uh, the digital immediate process, I'm working in a theater. It's the, the master that I make initially is for digital display. So it's what, the, what you would go to a theater and watch. So the next step after that is to make that same image and re well look the same on a television. It's like uh, two different worlds, two different display worlds, right? So now I take my digital cinema master and I have to manipulate it in ways so that it looks the same on a different display device. So there are things that I'm looking for on a display that uh, I've only yeah, become quite familiar with when it's uh, projected large on a, on a screen in a theater. So the, the challenge to this is, is for the manufacturer to make the properties of this display actually fit within the world that, I, that allows me to manipulate the image in the way that I've, that I've become accustomed to. So right away with this particular television, the, uh, the 4K OLED is just, it, it, it has a pristine, rich, deep black. And then the next important thing for me is the level of resolution above black, above zero black. It comes through to a point that is absolutely perfect the way I, the way I originally created it. It doesn't feel like it's forced up. It feels very organic and natural in the way that it lifts up detail from zero black. The, the, the highlights work the same way and the, 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 the highlight, it, 
It just has a feeling, just a very crisp, clear feel. Sometimes it's very hard to put into words. It's it's like looking into, looking through a window, looking into the real world. There's two things in this television and in the current generation of televisions that are very important to us. Uh, one is the number of pixels. This is a UHD or a 4K television. Uh, this is a big trend in the industry now of higher resolution imaging. Uh, another thing that it has is a broader range of colors that it can display. Uh, much of filmmaking is all about accuracy in colors. When they capture a film, they, they, they want those colors to be captured, but we also want to be able to display them, which is one of the important features of this kind of television. Another thing that's a big topic in the Hollywood production community is what's called high dynamic range or HDR video. This is the first flagship television that Panasonic has offered that includes HDR video. HDR is a, is a, a very technical concept, but it's really simple to understand if you think of what we call uh, color volume or contrast going into a television, the ability to render brighter whites and richer blacks, but also to track colors through that range. And uh, one of the things that we've been able to achieve on this OLED with Mike's help is not just making a good TV, but making a, an accurate, a precise television. And part of the collaborative process that we do with Hollywood is that very thing. We want precision, we want accuracy, we want all the features of more colors, uh, the higher frame rate, the uh, high, dynamic name, high dynamic range, and what that adds up to is a really compelling display uh, that we're very, very proud of. Want to comment on that? Uh, from a professional standpoint, I'm looking for a television that is, uh, is going to be my base standard where I create the master. Um, I'm looking for very specific things in a master display. And it, the, the Panasonic OLED, has, it seems like the collaboration proves to me that, they're, that, that they want to make the best possible product they can. Yeah. Uh, and going in, in back and forth and, and identifying some of the issues originally that have been dealt with and smoothed out. And the final product is that professional professional quality monitor I've been looking for. Uh, I, I, as a consumer, it's the, it's the television that I'm looking for. It recreates the, the light, shadow, the color detail, the way that the filmmakers originally intended it to be seen. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything more. It can, but in my world, I need it to be precise, and that's what it is. And when, uh, when we achieve that kind of response from a, from a colorist of, of Mike's caliber, we know that we're on the right track of producing products that the consumer can enjoy for a very long time with this level of accuracy that's never been enjoyed before. Panasonic.